Good evening, Jamaica. The theme for Labor Day 2015, Labor of Love, Nurturing Our Children, was to remind us of our core spirit towards supporting and safeguarding our children. As the chair of the National Labor Day Planning Committee, we proposed that safe spaces for children be created, and this involved the creation and or repair of children-friendly spaces so as to promote family togetherness. Today, we're humbled and we're so proud of the outpouring of support which came through the projects which were undertaken. There was general painting and cleaning of facilities, like the Jamaican Christian Boys' Home in Kingston, the Palmas Park Community Center in St. Mary, the Hague Community Center in Trelawney, the Mannings Boys' Home in St. Elizabeth, and the 3D Home, a place for the physically challenged in St. Catherine. Most importantly, we're proud of those projects which created spaces for children to play and enjoy, like the work done on the Widow's Mite Home in St. Anne, the creation of a park in Waterford, Portmore, the building of a kiddies park in Cornwall Court in St. James, and the national project at the Rudolph Elder Park in St. Thomas. I take this opportunity on behalf of the National Labor Day Planning Committee to applaud the commitment and the hard work of volunteer work teams drawn from across the Jamaica Defense Force, the National Youth Service, the Social Development Commission, and the ministries and agencies which make up the National Labor Day Planning Committee. I commend all persons from all sectors of society, government and non-governmental organizations, the volunteers and the community groups that worked hard today to repair and build child-friendly spaces, and who I know will continue to promote the adage that it takes a village to raise a child. For the national project at the Rudolph Elder Park in St. Thomas, I am heartened by the level of support that came from all stakeholders, the local community in St. Thomas, individuals and small businesses, and groups who responded to the call to action this Labor Day by committing funds, time, and in-kind resources to the project. Special thanks to the South African High Commission, who was very gracious to donate the concrete park benches, as well as fruit trees and ornamental plants for the park. Some sponsors from Corporate Jamaica who committed funding to support the National Labor Day project include the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority, Edge Campaign, National Housing Trust, First Heritage Cooperative Credit Union, Jamaica Money Market Brokers, Island Dairies, Barco, CB Chicken, Purity Bakery are just a few of the companies that ensured that the tasks were completed in a timely manner today. Of course, we do not take for granted the contribution of the ministries and the agencies, the parish councils, the members of parliament, and councillors towards Labour Day. As Labour Day comes to a close, I'm calling on all Jamaicans, particularly the church, teachers, parents, and community members to pay special attention to our children's needs for guidance, mentorship, and protection. Protecting our children is everyone's responsibility. Thank you, and have a good evening.